<laughs> no <laughs> one's go. No one's go. I'm a, I'm a, no one's go. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. <laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another quarantine comparison. And for those who have not read the titles of this yet, today we are comparing the Nike PG4 versus the Adidas Dame Sixes. Quarantine comparisons. Let's get it. <laughs> First and foremost, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. If you guys would like either of these shoes, make sure to click the link in our description box below. ProDirectBasketball.com will take care of you. Now, this is an extremely exciting comparison, not because Damian Lillard pretty much waved Paul George goodbye and forced his hand to trade to the Clippers. Yes, I am bringing this up. I have to, bro. But. The reason why this comparison is so exciting is because both these shoes are arguably the most comfortable from their respective brands. Nike smacked you with the PGs, giving you that cloud under your foot experience. And these shoes right here feel like pillows under your toes. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As per usual, starting things off with arguably the most important is the aesthetics. Yeah. This one's tough. It's definitely tough because really it comes down to colorways. Both shoes have had amazing colorways thus far. So we have to kind of strip back a bit and then just pick our best colorway of the two. What looks best on the shoe design itself. And you know where we're going with this. That roofless joint on the Dame 6? Come on, bro. <sighs> All don't, right. Don't spill it out for them. It don't has spill to. it out for them. Bam, the black with the watermelon and the neon green, it cannot be touched. Some other colorways in the Dame 6 have been insane. The PG also came strong with some colorways, but if I had to pick one, if we had to pick one, it's got to be the Dame 6 on it. Come on now, come on. Next up, talking about traction. Unfortunately, the point has to go to the PGs. They came hard with that strobo inspired circles and stripes traction pattern. Dust collection was minimal. The bite was insane. Max. I can't talk about the cushioning too much, but when we get into it, it'll make sense. Everything it. about that shoe, bang. Don't get me wrong, the hair bone traction over here was okay. It's just that the dust collection was a lot more uh, uh, potent than the, than the <laughs> Next up, talking about the cushioning. The point has to go to the PG4, right? Now, has to? Look, it has to, bro. It has to. Come on, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain, right? Bro, you just mentioned how the traction was inspired by how good the cushioning was. Basically, when your cushion is that good, you're inspiring tractions. It's, it's, it's kind of telling, bro. Now, in the PG4, we've got an air strobel, which is basically an air unit full length throughout the shoe, which is not quite zoom, not quite max, but pretty much the best of both worlds. It gives you epic comfort straight up clouds, but response is fantastic and court build is also there. It's mad. It has to go over here because it's, it's a great, great, great cushioning system. I'm not saying that Lightstrike doesn't bang over in the dames, right? Tell them about Lightstrike real quick. Tell them about Lightstrike. Bro, Lightstrike arguably is my favorite foam cushion setup. And for this shoe to not get the point, even though it feels incredibly comfortable, it just, it speaks volumes as to how comfortable and how amazing the cushion system in the PG is. Nice. Both these have amazing cushion systems, probably the best from both their brands. But the PG takes the, takes the slice from this one for sure. Hey yo, real quick, if you're not enjoying this video, make sure you like, show us some love. Comment down below which of these two shoes you prefer or which of these two shoes maybe we should compare them to in the future. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to be a G, hit that bell to stay notified every time we drop a new video. Next up, talking about the materials, the point again has to go to the PG4s. They smacked it with the PG4s, bro. You can definitely tell that their ethos behind that shoe was comfort, and the materials definitely add to that. We have an overall mesh construction with touches of leather as well and they make the shoe feel really nice and snug and the break-in is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, we also have an over mesh construction here in the Danes as well with some touches of suede. We believe predominantly for bonding, 
And the reason why this shoe doesn't get the point is because it just doesn't feel as structured as a PG. The PG just feels more like a hoop shoe, whereas this shoe is a little bit roomy. I mean, a bit too much space for the toes and the heels. We don't want that. It's kind of flimsy still. The, 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 it's the a bit soft. soft. Kind of soft, you get me? We're not about that soft life. Tell them about the tongue though. What the tongue do to your socks? And the tongue, bro, thank you for reminding me. Of course I was gonna I mean, listen, I'm not mad at it, but I'm mad at it, bro. The tongue kept rubbing off my white socks, yeah. I had pink streaks in my white socks. Even after I washed them, it was still there. I had to get that, you know that extra thing that you, that you buy to make the socks even whiter? Them ones. And so I won't mention it, but you know what I'm saying? Point goes to the PG. Moving on. Next up, talking about the fit. Now this one's tough, because really and truly, you're picking from the lesser of two evils, right? Yes. Both of them are evil. Why? PG4's pr pretty tight. Very tight, in fact. Whereas Dame 6, fit's kind of loose. It's kind of roomy, as Flo said earlier. So you gotta pick which one, which, which, pick your poison. We're picking the PG Fords, yeah? yeah? It's a better fit issue. I say that, but it's just because it's closer to the foot. We prefer the snugger foot when you're hooping, you're doing what you do, you prefer your shoes to just move with you. The second the shoe starts moving around without you, that's blisters, that's uncomfortability, that's just not a great experience. These broke in the way they're supposed to, even from that snug fit. They went from tight into snug, which will take any day of the week. Point has to go to the PGs, come on now. Next up, talking about support. Now this again is a very close one. Both these shoes give you that low top experience, so the support will be a bit like cluster, but the point has to go to the PGs because again, this one comes down to the way the shoe feels. Mental support plays a huge aspect in the game, and you just feel a lot more support than the PGs, bro. That's that's what it comes down to. Nice. These shoes require double socks, I'd argue maybe even triple socks, quadruple socks, for you to really <laughs> feel locked in. Yeah? You've got to pull these laces tight to feel half as locked in as the PGs if they were unlaced. Do you see where I'm going with this? I see we are, yeah, 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 smack, 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 smack. Yeah, and, and this shoe is extremely low cut, yeah? Ankles exposed, everyone can see them, yeah? yeah that. Point goes to the PGs, I'm done talking. Bam, I can only agree. I think, I feel like the zipper does its bits here. We didn't even mention it in materials, it's part of them. The zipper gives you that locked in feel. We said it in materials, the structure and the padding that comes from the PG give you all of those things to hug the foot properly. Those things are kind of missing in the dame, so the PG point makes sense. Next category, we have the price slash value, yep. AKA Flo's favorite category. Yep. Yes, I'm referring to myself in third person. Yeah. Who gives a damn, all yep. right? On one hand, Timmy's hand, we have the PG4s, which are priced at 105 British pounds. Right. On this hand, we have the Dame 6s, which are priced at 85 pounds. Ooh. 85 pounds. All right, now oh. honestly, all right, if you made it this far in the video, you're looking at the Dame 6s and you're telling yourself, the PG has smacked it out of the water. Performance-wise, the PG is killing. But really and truly, this is like a playoff series, bro. Yes, the PG has swept the game, yep. but every game went into overtime, okay? Yeah. And this shoe is priced at 85 pounds, bro. Yeah, no, the I hear it. goes to the Dame Sixes. Yeah. And I would probably go with the Dame Sixes if I had 105 pounds, because Pro Direct would give me 20 pounds change, and that means I can get some socks, I can get some shorts, and I could probably buy your girl some fries from the <laughs> How about that? Who is Flo firing at? In the comments, who is Flo firing at? I know he's not flying at me, but it might be one of you lot. So, that's what I'm saying, is it? I'm saying. <laughs> no one's girl. No one's girl. I'm not, I'm not, no one's girl. I'm a good guy. <laughs> So, looking at all the categories, the PG4 comes out of top at 5-2. Flo said it earlier, this is the playoff series. The Dame 6 pretty much got swept, and every game went into OT. And if I'm honest, aesthetics is subjective. Man, I don't know if we just gave it as a pity point, but I don't know. 
Every game was mad. Call it PG revenge. Yeah. Here you, here's what you get for the wave. PG takes the cake big time on this one. There you have it. All jokes aside, the Dame Sixes is still an incredible shoe. I believe, and I think Timmy will agree, that this is the most comfortable shoe Adidas has to provide right now. Between the, da the Dame Sixes and the PG Fours, it's tough. The PG Four takes it, but this shoe is incredible. And if I had 105 pounds, I would go here. Massive thank you to the family Pro Direct Basketball once again. Like we mentioned before, if you would like either of these amazing basketball shoes, click the link in our description box below and live life. But of course, before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below your thoughts on the PG or the Dame 6. And of course, hit that beautiful red button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we've got a new video. Now, with all that being said, this is the Nike PG4. This is the Adidas Dame 6. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.